headed home. Dose of zero, our tradition. Showdown in Ohio. Setting up, we got it. We're at U.S. Soccer headquarters, like I said, and thanks for all you guys coming out and playing. And dude, there's some ballers out there on the court right now, dude. This is actually pretty cool. Nesta Hayduck out there. Yeah, Nesta's He's... out there. Yeah, we got the championship. Frankie hit a classic tomorrow, uh, going down. So if you guys haven't signed up, go sign up right now. It's uh, I think we have 14 teams in, and we want 16 max, and so we need two more teams, maybe. So if you haven't uh, signed up, go check it out um, on U.S. Soccer's website. And uh, the winner of that tournament is going to get a chance against my uh, Fab Five. Who is the, who's the Frankie? There's some rumors swirling around. What, let me hear the rumors. What rumors are they? I'm, I heard you were getting... When they are in town, I mean, it's, the weather's going to be perfect. It's going to be uh, sunny, sweet. There's going to be no excuses for either team. And you know what? Two of the... <laughs> there's going to be a storm, though. There's going to be... 25,000 strong. Uh, even Bruce more. Stadium. Is that it? I think even more than that, uh, dude. There, it's going to be... I'm bad at math, so... Yeah, me too. But <laughs> it's going to be buzzing. We can't wait to, to, to get in that moment and see what's going down there. But... I mean, let's talk about for one. Let's get let's get let's talk about the crew first. Let's get the crew game going. Their last game, um, and then we'll talk. Uh, we'll preview them. Their next game against Kansas City actually tonight, and then we'll get on the uh, the Costa Rica tip last game, night's game. Hopefully, we don't have too much to say about that game because everyone know how that one went. But we will talk about it, and we'll talk about uh, a little bit uh, of the showdown in Ohio, dude. You know, here we go. Big mi midweek win for the crew here at Cruz. Well, here in Columbus at Cruz Stadium. 2-0, maybe a little foreshadowing, yeah. hopefully. I mean, actually, you know, you, you know as, as always, when a, a team gets, you know, a, a, a little spark, which, uh, you know, uh, which a little change in the organization just happened, as you guys know, and um, I, I think it's, it did spark them a little bit, and they came with some fire. They came, with, they came ready to play, and, and, and they came out on, on all cylinders, except – for that first 15 minutes, oh, Cody. Wow, I mean, wow. let's 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 really talk about that first to 15. Quote Brian Bliss, "Mamma Mia." <laughs> yes, I mean that was just uh, it was an, it was kind of disastrous there for a little bit, and luckily we got out of there uh, three one on ones later, and it was still zero zero. I mean, so Will Bruin and Brad Davis connecting, Bruin making those great runs to get through the crew defense. Three open nets, and fortunately for the black and gold, I mean, I mean, uh, let's, uh, finishing. Matt Lampson came out and, and, and did well. I, 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 I thought our, our line was a little bit too high on each of those goals, and after that first 15 minutes, I think you saw them, they started dropping off, and um, just, just after that first 15, not too much bad to say. I mean, it was vintage Chad Marshall in the middle. Yeah, Chad, Chad Marshall, I think for me, that was his game of the year, uh, to be honest. Uh, he, he he really did step it up. He had, he had a, almost had a couple opportunities on some some big set plays that we haven't seen that much of him this year because he does get double teamed a lot and a lot of people come around him and he's always the center of attention. And but what that does is open up opportunities for other guys on set pieces, a la jo Josh Williams early in the year. Um, and, you know, and, and and many many of the guys right now. I mean, we we have plenty of of tall trees in there on set pieces. Tyson Wall, another one that. That are uh, that are out there for the taking. So, Chad Marshall stepping it up, get, keeping it at zeros after that first 15. And you know that's if you could take any any positive out of that game, it's it's that we did keep it at zeros. And that you know if anything, if there's been a knock on us this year, it's that we're not scoring goals and we put two goals in the back of the net. And I think one thing that changed the game. Obviously, you hate to see Will Trap leave with an injury. He should be good to go tonight against Sporting Kansas City, by the way. But you hate to see him leave with an injury. Scary. Tony Chani. Oh, man. Tony Best Chani. Best game he's played maybe in a year and a half, two I years. Mean, he stepped it up. Well, I mean, I think that's the first time he's played in a year and a half or two years. You know, let's, let's be honest. I mean, he hasn't gotten too many opportunities as of late with his team. You know what? That's all. That's what we talk about, and that's what coaches talk about as, you know what? Be ready for the game. If you're a sub, be ready because at any moment – Things can change, and he uh, did their normal stepped-up game. Three guys really stepped up that haven't stepped up too much lately in the past, that being Tony Chani, uh, Chad Marshall, and Justin Miriam. Justin Miriam. Miriam, I mean, he, man he of the match. On, what do you have, goal and assist, right? Goal I mean, and assist. Great uh, ball in that first goal, too. I mean, grew, great vision. That whole first play was just was just uh, uh, just great. I mean, the the, the, the play, the, the leading up to it, the passing leading up to it, the vision, and the vision of Justin just in one time at – uh, across the box to to uh, a, a, a great finish by Ryan Finley. Those finishes are not as easy as you think, and Ryan made it look pretty easy, and that's what he's done uh, in his whole college career. And um, you know that's why we brought him here in the crew to score goals. I mean, let's let's face it, he was he was a Mac Trophy winner, 
No, no he was a finalist. I mean, finalist. He didn't win it. And Mac finalist, and he was a sub his whole he year. He scored 28 he, goals over two years as a sub. He scored 28 <laughs> goals over two years as a substitute, which I don't know why that is because is, is it, does he when he starts, does he knock a lot? I don't know. But to score 28 goals coming pretty much almost every game off the bench, that says a lot for a guy, and that's a guy that a coach wants off the bench, a guy that you know is going to bring a spark. And, and in this opportunity, in this moment, he got his chance to start, and he made the most of it. For the, Almost had two goals. Really, <laughs> Could have had two. Really, he missed a PK. We'll, we'll get to the first one, but just, uh, just an unsell. So they're, they're the bully uh, of the league, and it's time to go take it to him a little bit. Uh, good thing for us uh, is that they have a couple players missing, and they're with the national team. So And, and they just sold Kai Kamara. Kai Kamara gone, Graham Zuzi gone, Beasler gone, three. That's I the mean, backbone of their team. Three backbone uh, of, of their team, you know, uh, are now are now out. So it's going to be a different team for them, and it's going to be interesting to see how how they respond. But I mean, let's face it. I mean, every game from here on out for us is is almost like a final. I mean, we seven need seven games left. Seven games left. We're five points behind. We need points. And, and it's so funny because don't you remember just weeks ago people saying. To Zussi, as as they kind of play in that central role, Zussi maybe drifts out wide more. I think uh, in the box. Yeah, he's a little bit more dynamic, uh, Zussi. You know, uh, ben, uh, Benny's a little bit more uh, likes to have the ball. The be, yeah, he's kind of you know he likes to uh, you know get give the ball, dish it out to people. But he's I don't feel like he's making those runs in the box. Like he's he's dying to get in the net. So a little bit different of, of a dynamic, but definitely not a, a bad Montreal. Or, Montreal. I mean. Those guys are very beatable. I mean, Montreal, at the beginning of the year, they went on into what eight-game winning streak. They couldn't lose. They're the best team in the league. They the come, fire too. Yeah, they come to Cruz. Oh, yeah, we have a game against the Fire. They come to Cruz Stadium. We beat them at home. All of a sudden, they don't, they don't win for eight games. So this is how kind of the league is, and it's how kind of the East is especially. It's up and down, and teams go in streaks. And, you know, let's face it. If we can get on a, a little streak here, and you always have to be – you always got to hope a little bit, but you got to take one game at a time. But you get on a streak. You never know what can happen, and right now it's coming to the end of the season. If there's any time to get on a streak, it's now. You want to go into the playoffs streaking. No, there's no doubt about that, and uh, we can start our first streak basically uh, tonight. One in hand, momentum going to Kansas yeah. City. You're only as good as your last game, bro. We got, we got, we. we, we, we <laughs> You've been saying that all week. I've been I saying that all it, year, actually. <laughs> well, we haven't won multiple games all year. The last year, last week was the first time that the crew had won. Or, Two weeks ago, the first time that we ago. won two games in a row all season, which which is which is pretty crazy if you think about it, and considering how a lot of our games uh, have gone, we have not been out of pretty much any game all year long, and to to not be able to win two games is just it it doesn't fit. I, I don't feel for the way that we've played. I think we've deserved to to get a couple of those games that that we came out on the short end of the stick, but that's all behind us now. And hey, like I said. You're only as good as your last game, bro. We won the last one. Now let's continue the streak from here on out. Take it one game at a time. What's up, Megan? There's Megan. Megan and girls. Rachel. 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 Hanging. Yep, and Megan and Rachel, the couple crew girls cruising, checking us out. What let's get to do? why we're here. Let's get to why we're here. We, we want to do that. Is there something happening in Columbus next week? Man, this is going to be. I'm losing sleep. This is going to be absolutely insane, dude. I mean, it's been a big, big buzz around columbus for the last two months basically really? uh, and and i was kind of hoping their center mid midfielder comes back to get to the ball teams have figured out a way how to stop that finally after all these years and it's forcing mexico to play more kickball and that's not their game and it's it, it, whenever they come in to columbus we frustrate them so much that they have to play that kickball game and then all of a sudden it becomes a physical game and it, it, it becomes which team can out battle out fight the other team which team can out body the other team and as you've seen the last three times against Mexico it's been us I mean we, we've disrupted their the rhythm of the game when they come here it becomes a scrap and they're not really used to scrapping man they would rather play the ball on the ground and play pretty um, tico tico soccer and they they can't play that way anymore because teams are finding out a way to play to play against them got a lot of work to do too but know that where we can help the guys out man this is where we can come together and really be that 12th man for them because i'm sure they're feeling a little down dude let's let's let them know on tuesday night how much we're behind them and i know we are going to and we're going to be 
I mean, I can't wait for all the USA chants, and I can't wait to wake up on Wednesday morning and not even have a voice. Because if you go to that game and you're a fan, you probably shouldn't go to work the next day just because you're not going to have a voice. You probably shouldn't go to work Tuesday either because you got to – you gotta, you gotta tailgate. You yeah, gotta, you gotta tailgate. You gotta get yeah, ready for the game. You should just probably take the whole week off. Dude. Yeah, yeah. It's take the whole day. There you go. Yeah, this guy yeah. like that. Yeah, he's he's into that. Want me to call your boss, dude? Okay, I will. Yeah, I will. Give me his number. <laughs> so good times. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great, uh, great weekend leading up to that game because now it's here. You know, now the buzz really starts to get going. The buzz is starting to get going over there on the futsal court right now with a bunch of ballers out there playing it up and having fun. And this is cool of, of Easton Town Center out here to, to, to hook us up like this at U.S. Soccer uh, headquarters, fan headquarters. This place itself is buzzing. Yeah, I, did. I wish they would just always have that futsal court out there permanently, man. I mean, this could be a – I mean, I'm seeing guys that I, I, I might uh, – I might tell uh, the coach about here. I mean, there's some there's some good players out there, and you know, it's a good uh, get some and.